Guys, let's do some updated price predictions and for some new coins as well, because everyone likes price predictions for some odd reason, even though they're almost always wrong. Let's start with VeChain, that's everyone's favorite. I'm gonna go up my prediction for a dollar and 20 cents. Why am I going slightly up from a dollar? It's mainly because of the Coinbase thing. Also, VeChain is focusing a lot more on their community and ecosystem development, which is also good. So I think the ad liquidity from Coinbase, because I'm assuming like since it's on their roadmap, it, they're going to add it before like next year. And just um, the added liquidity and hopefully their increase in DeFi will actually pump up VeChain to be a little bit more than we thought. Now, last time VET got to 26 cents, but it started at like 0 0.0004. This time we're starting more around the 1.8 cents area. So like a dollar, dollar 20 doesn't seem to be too much to predict for VeChain. It was below, my, my original prognosis was probably like around 70 cents or so, but that's be, before Coinbase put it on their roadmap. So now we're 100% sure that Coinbase is actually going to um, list the coin. I'm a little bit more optimistic on the projections. Now, in terms of Jasmine, because everyone for some reason is asking about Jasmine. I think Jasmine can get to about 20 cents. I think Jasmine has, be, has been oversold, I do think the original price was way too high. I don't think you can get to $4 because people still think it's for some reason the official coin of Japan. It is not the official coin of Japan. It is a coin in Japan, not the official coin of Japan. A star I've said, I think is better actually in Japan, but there's still some hype and FOMO. There's a lot of people like hoping on it because I think a lot of them did buy in that $1 range. Unfortunately for them, I don't think it's going to get back to a dollar, but you probably can get some of your money back on like a 20, 30 cent pump. Um, I don't really know what the uses of Jasmine, like it's not like Japan's going to adopt it for their currency or whatever, but you know, like that's still a pretty big market, and I still think in the FOMO, just with a lot of people talking about it, that it will actually come back up. So about 40 cents would actually be my prediction. Now, let's move on to Caspa. Now, Caspa is interesting. I think it's being overhyped, honestly, but it will pump just because it does actually have hype. Being the best proof of work coin is like winning the Special Olympics, uh, kind of. Because proof of work is kind of like a hobble type of protocol. I think the only proof of work coin that'll have relevance in the future is actually Bitcoin itself. So I'm not pulling my breath for something like Caspa. So Caspa, I think it's two cents right now. Personally, like, you know, at a, at a market cap of already 482 million, a fully diluted market cap of 713 million, I think it can get to maybe, um, you know, like, maybe 20 cents, like have a market cap of about a 5 billion during the bull run. So Caspa, maybe 20 cents, some money to be made there, but I think there's better investments. I don't really see the Caspa ecosystem growing all that well. Yes, the chart does look good uh, since basically May, but overall, I think like, you know, the hype there isn't really all that warranted. I don't really think there's like that, that many huge projects on the chain itself. And like I said, being the best proof of work coin is kind of like winning the Special Olympics. So I'm not really that hype on being the best proof of work coin. Let's go on to ICP, the insane clown posse. More like, you know, internet computer protocol. I think like the max there you're going to get is about 100 bucks, maybe 150. I know like it debuted at like 700, but that was mainly because like Sam Bigman Fried and Almada Research did actually pump it up. Um, to that high. I don't think it'll reclaim its all-time high because I think it just debuted way too high. There was no way it should have actually debuted in the top five. Now, if we have a super duper bull run, maybe, but I don't think I would actually be counting on that. I'm just not very, very um, confident in ICP right now. So if you like ICP, don't have too much great things to say about it. Like I said, I think it just went too high last time and I don't really see it doing super, super well. Let's talk about RNDR next. And that's the last one we're going to talk about today. We've got five coins today. RNDR, I actually really like, um, you know, their partnership with Apple, their rendering of like 3D uh, displays. I think that's really awesome. I'm looking at about $20 for RNDR. I think that gives it a fairly healthy market cap to actually work with and plenty of uh, room to actually grow. It could definitely go higher if some of those partnerships pop off, but I think a safe bet for it would be about $20. So those are my predictions for VET, Jasmine, Caspa, ICP, and RNDR. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.